If you're looking to purchase a new Sitefinity license, then there are two packages to choose from, Sitefinity DX and Sitefinity DX Plus Enterprise Package. Now in this video, we're going to take a look at the features and add-ons available in both of these options to help you determine which one is the best fit for your Sitefinity project. Now here is the Sitefinity licensing and pricing table that you can find on progress.com. The first option here is Sitefinity DX, which is Progress's core content management platform. Now in both options, you have all the content management features included. Now these are all the core CMS capabilities that you'll find in many content management solutions on the market. This will include the ability to manage, create, and publish content. And you'll also get headless content delivery, which allows your company to deliver content to multiple channels from one platform. Also included is multi-site management, which gives your company the option to manage several websites from one content management platform. Developer and marketing productivity tools is just a way of grouping features like Sitefinity's drag and drop page building experience, media management, content organization, and dev tools that allow for customization and expanding functionality of your website. Now, when you start getting into the experience management section of the Sitefinity license and pricing table, you'll start to notice the difference between the features included in Sitefinity DX and Sitefinity DX Plus Enterprise Package. Now, in both options, it allows for low-code system integration, integration of data from other marketing and business systems, and also tools like segmentation and customer journey tracking, which allow you to get a better picture of your audience. Now, this is where the add-ons will be considered when pricing out your license. So the ability to test and optimize marketing campaign landing pages and other content on your site, and the ability to serve personalized content and messaging to a specific audience segment is only included with the enterprise package pricing and licensing. But if you still want these options, they are available to purchase as add-ons with the base Sitefinity DX license. If you're selling products directly from your website, you may want to consider the add-on for e-commerce. This add-on gives you full integration with Progress's e-commerce partner, uCommerce. And for AI-driven chat, there's a chatbot add-on available with both the base and enterprise package license. Now in the next section, you'll see third-party connectors, and this is going to give you what you need to connect your website to things like your CRM. Now all these connectors are available as add-ons with a base Sitefinity DX license. So if you utilize a CRM like HubSpot and you want to do things like capture data in HubSpot when someone fills out a form on your website, then purchasing this as an add-on might make sense for your organization. Now in this next section, you're going to have features like site translation and management, which are great for global organizations that want to offer site content in a person's native language. Now, content synchronization, also referred to as site sync, is ideal for organizations that want multiple website environments like a dev staging and live site. And you can create content or make dev changes in one environment like a staging site. And then you can sync those changes when they're ready to go live on your public facing site. Now, the Sitefinity audit trail is going to provide a log of any changes made to your Sitefinity system. So when errors occur, you'll have a log of these changes that's going to help you diagnose and solve these issues quickly. Now, with Sitefinity DX, 10 users are included. And if you want to add additional backend users, then you can do that in five-person increments. Or you have the option to pay for unlimited users as an add-on. Now, your enterprise package is going to have unlimited users included in the price of your enterprise license. Both options come with one domain or server included. So if you want to add additional domains or servers, then there's an add-on that you have to purchase. Now, you'll only need to purchase this add-on for additional production domains. This might include a separate brand website that you want to move to Sitefinity or any separate website that you plan on using Sitefinity software to manage, edit, and publish the content on that site. You do not need to pay extra for non-production domains like a dev, testing, or staging subdomain. An example of this would be dev.yourwebsite.com. Now the price of your Sitefinity license also won't change for domains that redirect to your main website. Many companies purchase and own several domain names that are forwarded to a main website URL. These won't count towards the cost of your Sitefinity license. 
To get pricing, you can request a quote directly from the Progress website, which requires you to fill out a form to have someone at Progress contact you. Or you can reach out to a Sitefinity partner like SmoothFusion, and our team can go over the pricing for each license, calculate what you can expect to pay with any add-ons, and we can also provide you with the total cost of your Sitefinity implementation, which would include the cost of your new license, along with costs associated with project discovery, website design and development, and we'll also share what you can expect to pay every year when it comes to annual license fees and keeping your website up to date. So hopefully this video gave you a good overview of the two licensing options available for Sitefinity. Now, if you have any other questions about these features or any other pricing or licensing information about Sitefinity, then feel free to reach out to our team and we'd be happy to walk you through it and help you choose the license and add-ons that makes the most sense for your organization and website project.